Hey guys, it's Angie. So today is Monday and you know what that means? It's what sold for the week. So I'm gonna run over some numbers with you, let you know what I sold last week and how I'm doing. If you are new here, I'm Angie Resells. I am an eBay reseller for over 20 years. This is my full-time job, so welcome in. Okay, last week, I had a pretty good week. Seemed to be getting back on track. Flipcon had me all sorts of ways upside down <laughs> and was not getting my act together, but I'm trying to get on a better schedule, so hopefully that's gonna work a little bit. So let's take a look and see what the sales were. You guys know I love to give you the numbers. So last week my sales were $2,649.47. That's pretty good. Now we always go through the numbers so you can see exactly what it is I'm taking home. I had to have $136.60. Now that didn't come to me. eBay took that out automatically. Then we have the selling costs. That's all of your promoted listings, your eBay fees, and your shipping. So a lot of that is included in that number. That came to about 40% of my total. So actually what I took home for the week, what came into my bank account was $1,428.24. This is pretty good. My average sale price per item is $32. $32.31. This is the part that's a little low. Thank goodness I had some higher sales because I still only sold 82 items last week. That's definitely down. I like to have around 100 or a little bit above that. That's usually when I'm doing really, really well. But 82 items with some higher dollar items is really good. So let's take a look at some of the interesting items that I sold and I'll give you some information about them. First of all, my mom picked these up. They were just these tiny little squares, like little rugs. They look like little Barbie rugs. But I come to find out that they were coasters in these little prints. My mom had picked up two different sets of them, so eight total, and I sold both of them to one person, and I took a best offer of $12 each, but it's $24 for these little carpet squares. So we have that one, and we have this one. They shipped together one price and it just went to Florida. So that was pretty cool. And you know I love my plush, but look at this guys. I sold not one, but two pooping chickens. <laughs> That's all right, he poops eggs. I found these at a thrift store here locally. They were $1.99 a piece. I picked up like six of them. I have some chicks and other things but this one seems to be the most popular. He sold for $29.66 plus shipping, and I sold two of them to the same person. So that was a great sale. Who knew? In the middle of September, you would sell chickens who lay eggs. Then I sold this little baby grouch. I thought he was so cute. Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. I did take a best offer of $15 on him. And then, you know the little lovies? I love when I sell, I love when I sell lovies. <laughs> That's great. This little one sold for $13.25. And then I sold the Petunia little ballerina. She was super cute. I did take a best offer of $11. And guys, this is always plus shipping on these items. Then I sold this cute little guy. He was one of those Spark Create Imagine plushes. He has the little, I don't know if you could see it really well in this picture, but it's like, sequency mask on. He only sold for $9.40, but that's okay, we'll take it. Then, this is another thing that my mom picked up. This was a My Buddy Kid Sister doll. I don't think she paid very much for it, but I was super happy that it sold like in 24 hours after listing for $31.95. And I sold one of my last buyer's dolls. I looked over because I have four left out of the 30 some that I bought earlier in the year. And he did sell for a full asking price of $56.95. So he is an Ebenezer Scrooge, one of the earlier years. And then this was a Lee Middleton doll. I actually picked this up at the Google bins. So I paid about, I'd say $3 for her. Surprisingly, I saw people picking her up and putting her down. So I was really kind of surprised that no one else wanted her because I thought she looked like a Middleton and you just flip her upside down, look under the back of her neck and there was the Lee Middleton. There you go. It is a Riva Lee Middleton original dolls as soon as I saw that, I knew I wanted to pick it up and sold for 
$50.30 in like two days. These I've had for a while. I did pick these up at the bins. They are the 12 days of Christmas bells, but some of them have the little clingy, 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 clingy thing on the inside, and some of them do not. So I did sell them as is. They would have sold for a lot higher if all of them were attached. Not all of them were, but it did sell for $21.80. So these vans took a best offer of $17.50 on them. Uh, I wish they were my size, but they were a little too big. I need like an eight and a half, and these were a nine and a half. Here is an auction find my mom picked up, which was Super Mario Odyssey. Brand new, still sealed, and we sold it for a best offer of $38. I had quite a few offers right around $30, $32, like immediately, and I was like, eh, I'm going to wait, I think. And within a few hours, I did get a, a best offer of $38.50, and I was like, yeah, I'll take that for sure. Lionel Trains. I know nothing about trains, guys, at all. But mom is becoming the sourcing queen now, and she picked up several Lionel Trains pretty inexpensively. We cleaned them up a little bit, but we don't know hardly anything about them. So we did say that they are as is for rehab, that they have some wear. We don't know if they're complete or if they run. And this one sold for $14.95. Sold another one today too. So definitely made her money back and more on those. I found this set at the bins as well. It looked like a bunch of junk in a bag, but when I looked closer, it is actually American Girl, the Welly Wishers, which are the little dolls. So it was the little tea set, and then there's the little bumblebees and the ladybugs, and then there's birthday cakes with birthday hats. I put this on there and I was shocked at how fast it sold. It sold for $54.95 in under an hour. This is something I picked up in an estate sale for $1. I actually picked up two of them. This one I just sold for best offer of $40. So that's a great return on my investment. When I saw this at a yard sale, I wasn't sure if anybody would be interested in the old TVs, but I did look it up real quick because it was $2. And I was surprised that there were quite a few sales. This actually went international, which makes a lot of sense because while we're digital here in the United States, I think there's lots of countries that don't have digital television, so this will work just fine. It did sell for $33.20. And then I found this. Now this I've had for quite a while. It was in my death pile. I never got around to listing it until recently. Wacom, Wacom, Bamboo, pen and touch tablet evidently you connect it connects to your computer so as you're drawing it shows on there it came in its original box it was in really great shape had all the manuals and everything and i did sell it for 56 dollars 95 it did take about two months to sell it guys i'm so excited about this shirt this is a happy halloween shirt it's from the 90s single stitch could not believe it when I picked it up at the Google outlet. So that means I paid about a dollar for it. I received so many offers, so many offers on this, right about 30 to $35. Oh yeah, I got like an $8 offer and I got a $15 offer. But I thought I'm gonna hold out at least till the end of September. That way somebody has a whole month to wear it, but I wanna see how, if I can get up to my price and I was so happy to know that somebody purchased it full price, $71.20. And I hope they love it as much as I do because it's a super fun shirt. Then another little clock radio. This old timey electronics, they really do sell. This one I also picked up at a yard sale for about $2. It did sell for $31.30. We tested it, it works perfectly, cleaned it up a little bit, and there you go. Stephen King, now this book I've had for a long time. I've said that the first editions do well. This one's not as old as some of the other ones, but this is a first edition hardcover book, and it finally sold for $15.67, though this one took a year to sell. Lots of ladies need to wear wigs for one reason or another. So when I find nice wigs, especially when it, like this one, it came with its box, had all the paperwork and everything, I definitely try to pick those up. This one here sold for $56.95 and I paid about a dollar at the Gobo Bins. Look how cute this is. Puppy pizza costume. 
you know Halloween is coming so if you have little doggy costumes or sweaters or things like that now is the time to list them this sold for $12.30 and I bet that pup is gonna look so handsome in this pizza costume speaking of costumes I did sell a forky costume from Toy Story it was $19.79. That did have free shipping, but it was first class. Someone messaged me that said they were a teacher and therefore they were trying to build up their classroom. And now that my daughter is a teacher, I'm a sucker for that line. Maybe she's a teacher, maybe not, but I have a soft spot in my heart for teachers now. So she sent me an offer of $19, said she's a teacher, and I said, all right, you know. But guys, I only paid $2 for this whole set. I know it's worth a little bit more, but I do hope that it goes to a classroom because that, that would be great. At that same estate sale that I bought the Home Co for a dollar, I picked up a bunch of tools. Older tools, most of them are from the 50s and 60s, including this Craftsman router. One dollar a piece I paid for all these tools. This one sold for $28.45. Now in the listing I specifically said this came from a shop, it needs cleaned, it has wear, it's sold as is. We did test it so make sure it works, but it's sold, you know, without cleaning, whatever, just as it is. And it did sell for $28.45. I have quite a few other tools on there, but I thought I'm gonna put them on, you never know, you could sell anything on eBay. <laughs> so I put on these old vintage tools and they're starting to sell. And then I actually don't have one top item of the week, I have two, because they both sold for the same price. So let me show you what we have. First of all, I sold these roller skates. These ones are specifically for roller derby and I know that's making a comeback because my daughter Emma is on a roller derby team and it's growing, it's kind of fun. Pick these up sometime in the spring for $5. My daughter tried to confiscate them several times and I said, uh, I don't think so because I knew they were valuable. And these sold for $85 plus shipping. So that's a pretty good sale. But I also sold a second item also for $85 and that's these Hunter boots. They are a nice herringbone tweed pattern. They're rain boots. I actually picked these up at the Goodwill outlet. So I actually had to pay up for them because they were a little bit heavier, but I probably paid about $6 for them. I was asking 104, took a best offer of 85 and so happy to see them sold to someone. And then you guys know, I love to give my last sale of the week is my smallest sale of the week. But remember, every sale counts. So my smallest sale of the week literally is the smallest item. And that is this guy, a Thai beanie boo. He literally was this tiny. It was the cutest gray seal ever. I didn't know if anybody would want him, but he sold for $8.07. That's with a whopping 5% off. That included shipping, but still I made about $5 on him because he came free with a bunch of other toys. So that was all profit and I totally love him and I'm so happy he's going to a new home. So pretty good week this week. My sales are definitely up. Things are turning around. I think going in the right direction. Oh, I just noticed, I don't want to forget before I get any further, I am rocking out with my new the bearded finds shirt the bearded fine shirt the bearded fine shirt i love these guys so much okay <laughs> that is steven right there he's the beardo we love the beardos and his wife is crystal i met them at flipcon i'll put a picture in here so you can see us together super sweet couple they are resellers part-time so they do a full-time job and then come home and hustle on ebay they also have a youtube channel would love for you to go subscribe to them make sure you say that angie sent you over there oh my gosh he had a video the other day it was so cute he was outside on the porch and crystal was taking the film and he's like i turned off the ac so the ac wouldn't be running outside it was just cute but I love them, I love their hustle, and so go check out their channel. They're still trying to get to a thousand subs. Would love to help them out a little bit. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button so that you can be a part of 
my eBay family here on YouTube and make sure you hit the like button. It definitely helps my channel. So what was your best item this week? I would love to know. Put your best item in the comments below and I'll share them out next week when I do my next What Sold video. All right, that's it for now, guys. We'll see you probably tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.